Hello, welcome. Thanks for clicking in. It's your host, Lights, Camera, and Action here. Today's video is going to be talking about how you get caught torrenting files, movies, videos, books, anything from online. Ever wonder why you get caught? I'll show you today. A lot of clients ask this question, so here we go. It's a Sunday morning. You're enjoying your nice cup of coffee, a break from work. Your family's in town, everyone's sitting by the table, ready to enjoy a nice day, maybe go to church. You go get the mail, you go grab it outside. You sit down, you're opening it up, and oh no, you get a mail from your ISP provider, a notice of infringement. ISP is anything Cox, Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, whatever you get your internet from. You get a notice of infringement. This notice of infringement is telling you that You've been downloading information and intellectual property illegally and sharing that information with others using their provided service. What do you do? How does this happen? How did you get caught? What happened? Am I doing it? Is my son doing it? A lot of questions clients ask. People are very confused on how they got caught. What have they been doing? They think they've been doing it correctly, um, but uh, at the end of the day, they get caught and uh, they're screwed. So what basically happens is um, your IP address is located because everyone has a unique IP address, right? And this IP address is, is associated with your internet company. So anything that's connected to your internet it could be a computer, your iPhone, you know, a lot of things, Wi-Fi nowadays or uh, microwave could be even, you know, Wi-Fi connection capability, anything with a Wi-Fi connection. Um, so you get a certain MAC address for each device. Each device that connects, is able to connect to the internet has a MAC address. So this MAC address is used to determine which computer was illegally downloading the information, but your IP address, um, your ISP, just knows that someone on your address has been downloading illegal things. You know, a lot of people, we get uh, letters and they're like, well, is my name confidential, is it blah, blah, blah. Yes, your name is not listed, just your ISP on the letter. And um, we have a lot of cases where uh, there's two main companies um, that we see pursuing infringement action is Strike Three Holdings and Malibu Media. And these two companies are known to go after people who are illegally downloading their stuff. So big no-no. And uh, we you know, represent a lot of people and they're very confused. Um, these happen to be two porn companies and they produce and uh, publish porn movies and people you know, unfortunately get um, downloaded and get caught and it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So today I'm gonna show you what happens and how you got caught and how they knew it was you, how they knew what you were downloading, how much you were downloading, who you're sharing that with, so it starts like this. You, it's a Saturday night and you want to watch a movie. It's not available on Netflix. It's not available anywhere else. So what do you do? Well, some people choose to go on the Pirate Bay, a common site, and they go and look up the movie and torrent it. Um, so let me show you what happens. So what people do wrong, I guess, is, is how people get caught is your IP address is not covered. Right when you um, go and torrent, in fact, anyone torrenting the movie can see, and I'll and I'll show you this shortly. So, um, you know, people who don't use a VPN or a proxy um, are not safe or not covered. And uh, in a different video, I'll show you how to download a safe VPN, how to use a VPN, but why some people even get letters even when using a VPN and what happens. Because um, I'll make a video on that in the uh, in the future. So you're going and you're on the Pirate Bay. You want to go look up. A movie so I'm gonna use a public domain movie for example so I you know I don't get in trouble and none of this is illegal on my end because it's public domain they're just sharing the files you know not everything on the pirate bay is illegal a lot of it is public domain a lot of movies well, I'll get into that in a different video as well a lot of videos to make so the movie I want to watch tonight or today um, is public domain uh, again it's uh, free to use. They did not renew the copyright, so it's free to use, public domain. Um, so here we go. So it's called A Boy and His Dog. 
and um, good it came up the pirate bay is down right now so sometimes I'm having a little problems um, so you scroll down there's some advertisements on there that are um, unruly I will take those out but uh, people go and they say oh yeah it was a good rating whatever uh, you know they have the you know the safe VIP membership um, who, the uploaders so like oh, okay good stuff there's uh, you know 18 seaters I don't know if there's any leechers but uh, I'll get into that what that is so you, you get to this page and you see all this information usually people just you know hit advanced or anything you just click OK and they go and um, they see it downloading so what is happening now so at this point you've started downloading this movie and <clears throat> so the 18 seaters usually people say or peers are people who are also as well uploading files back to the um, the torrent so they're sharing the files back and forth back and forth and what happens is people don't understand that um, these peers right here you see their full IP where they're located all the information how much they've downloaded how much they've uploaded and um, and so that's how they see what you're doing and not only that is when you're done watching the video what happens is people do not understand that once you're done the status as you can see right here goes to seeding and what seeding is is you're continuously into eternity right um, in the background uploading your files that you've downloaded to your computer back so other people can share and that's how torrenting works so what happens is um, these companies see first of all they see how much you've downloaded right so you know that that's a big thing how much you've downloaded yourself but they also see how much you've uploaded back to other people and the sharing is even worse because they see because if you're continuously sharing these files continuously you you will see them the uploaded part you'll see how much you've actually uploaded and it's tons and these mo movie companies gaming companies whatever they'll go and download the file for themselves so they're able to see how much someone's uploaded and downloaded and what their IP is Boom, and it's easy. So what they do is they send a letter out to the IP and that in the, uh, the ISP and the ISP sends a letter to you and that's what you get. Um, so they don't have a VPN or a proxy, so your IP comes up, right? And you're constantly downloading and uploading. Um, so what a lot of people don't know is that you can go into, I'm gonna stop this for now, you can go into um, your preferences on uTorrent, right? As an example, you can limit the upload, you know, uh, and seeding rates as a backup. You can go to one, you know, two, two. So it's two. That's the max kilobytes that you will upload back. So that's one way that people do on top of having a VPN. They don't have this and they don't limit how much they upload back to other people. Because obviously you need to download the whole thing. But and they also um, put this on as a. a these are all layers of security that people don't do. Another security layer is, you know, limiting how much you want to seed to, right? But then you go to, you know, global limit, peer torrent limit. There's a lot of these things that you can do to, um, to limit how much you're giving back and contributing back. So what people do, they will keep it on seeding. You continuously upload and you get the letter. So that's what happens when you get caught. Um, you don't take the precautions to um, I guess hide yourself you know I'm, I'm not condoning any of this but even for uh, um, even for public domain movies you should be hiding your IP address I have, a, I have a VPN on right now you should be hiding your IP address even doing legal because you don't want anyone to see your IP address what you're doing you know that's how they get all the information so that's what happens when you get the letter in the mail um, the company has determined how they caught you they see just the IP address and they see you know they don't see your name. They don't know anything else about you. They just know your IP address, and um, so they could file a lawsuit against that IP address um, if you don't, you know, settle. Um, so that's where we come in. We help you with the case. You know, we get it resolved. Um, try to keep it confidential um, because at this point they don't have your records or your uh, financial records. But you know, you know, when you're in the selling process, sometimes they'll, you know, at, try to get your financial records and ask for more money then that, that's that's how you get into it it's a whole another video that we've made but uh, so if you do get this letter um, 
uh, attorneysteve.com. You can get more info there. We offer free consultations. Um, Attorney Steve is um, my boss, and he's who I make these videos for. And um, you know, we know a lot about this stuff. You know, I, I'm kind of the tech expert here, and um, I'm going to be making videos about this, about all sorts of other things, how you get caught, how um, how to protect yourself online, how um, you know different stuff. It, it, how you know, cryptocurrency, all that I will be covering in later videos. So stay tuned for that. Um, I want to thank you all for watching. And remember to protect yourself on the internet online. You don't know who's out there. You don't know who's after you. you know, a lot of these companies, they'll make videos and um, they don't make the money on people purchasing the videos. They make money on going after people who have illegally downloaded it. It's scummy and we try to help and protect people from that and let people not get taken advantage. So just want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, comment any questions down below, or if you have any video ideas, excuse me, that you want to do in the future, um, subscribe, all that. Um, go to our website, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, everything. I'll have all the links down in the description below. Thank you for watching. Lights, camera, action. It's been a great video. Legal notice disclaimer. The foregoing is general legal information only and not legal advice or a substitute for legal advice. Information may not be accurate, complete, or current. Do not rely on our videos. The law offices of Stephen C. Vondren, Vondren Legal, is licensed to practice law in California and Arizona. The decision to hire a lawyer is an important one and should not be based on attorney advertising alone. This is an advertisement communication. We cannot handle all calls in all cases.